You say all the right things when I'm hurting You always pick me up when I am down It's like you have a spark that leaves me burning yeah, You just have your ways to get me high You make all my dreams come true It feels right On my car. <laughs> it's from our friend. Yeah, it's from our friend that works at FedEx. He wrote Taryn and the Girls. So what? With a heart. Yeah. No, I think he's just saying hi. Yeah, yeah go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All those bins need to be gone through, which will be fun. This car is a mess. But don't worry, it's just an umbrella, a package I haven't opened yet, changing mat, and then this I just wanted to share with you guys. I will be returning. Um, I think I showed you what I got that day. Um, I got a lot of, what's it called, free stuff too. What does this say? Free items. This isn't the receipt I wanted. I think they can look it up, but either way, I tried this. I was, I kept hearing about Baby Bliss Pro. Um, when I was looking for straighteners or curling, curling irons that, so like I had one that deposited aloe in my hair and Baby Bliss Pro would come up a lot or Baby Bliss, but I tried this and it looks so good once you're done, but then your curls don't hold. Um, I have, I, hold on, um, I choose to only have curling irons that work, um, uh, I mean, what were you singing?
you have a ball back there? We need a ball. Do you have a bowl? No. Do you have anything circular that is shaped like a ball? No? Well, let me see if I have anything. No, I don't think so. Well, let's say, let's say that... <gasps> okay, that's weird. Okay, let's say this is the world right here. This is the world spinning round and round, and this is the sun. Oh, I gotta drive. Ah, Mickey and the Roadster, Mickey and the Roadster Racers! Wow, I just realized something, you guys. If you're wondering why I'm in such a pleasant mood today, and I'm barely wearing any makeup, which is a plus to still be in a good mood with hardly any makeup and having money and financial troubles all day every day every week every month every year for the past four years and I'm still in a good mood and I'm going to give credit to St. John's Wart. I literally took two capsules like 45 minutes oh, ago. That's a long line over there. A long line? I know. Well that's Bank of America where always long lines but let me just show you we are not going to the 99 cent store we are going to nails and spa because today ladies and gentlemen Bria and I are treating ourselves to a nice little manicure a well-deserved manicure that I have needed for like two years now I would like to get my feet done as well. I'd like to get a pedicure, but that can get pretty pricey. So, we are going to get our nails done today and not care about the cost and not care about the bills. Mommy, did I pick a good spot? Yep, you did. It's right across the street. I hope they have space for us. Mama's got to cover this up. Why? Because someone might break in and steal it. I'm gonna cover that up. I need my purse. We need this tablet. No, no, what do you have to cover up? My purse. People see purses in cars. Sometimes they break. Well, this is mostly the city I'm talking about, not where we live. But where Mama used to live, people would break into cars and steal what's inside of it and get away with it. Oh wow, my camera has not been being charged this entire time. Now it's being charged, but we're getting out of the car. Anyway, so yeah, the St. John's Wart, I will show you when I get home. It's really, really helping my mood today, more than like my prescription medications are helping me. Like my prescribed medication isn't really doing it, but St. John's Wart is definitely doing something. I would definitely like to say it is. Um, and I got a bunch of other vitamins that um, have also been helping, but in different ways. So I'll share those with you at some point. Remind me in case I forget. I will add a clip in here or film it, film it when I can separately and add it in here. But yeah, we're just going to go get our nails done and be happy about it and not feel guilty. Because some family members want to make me feel guilty for doing things for myself, like getting my nails done, which every woman in the world does, probably, every month at least. Mommy. And to be honest, this will be Bria's first time getting her nails done. Yuck, in the aerial. What? In my aerial, nail polish doesn't stay on that. Yeah, that stuff don't stay on. And we're probably going to chip this off, which is going to upset me a little bit. Let's not chip it off, okay, Bria? <laughs> Please don't chip it off. Okay, but other than that, let's not leave this iPhone in the car. I need to get an iPhone charger today because my other one just died all of a sudden. Probably from being used for two years straight. Um, but yeah, everything we have gets used. We don't just like buy things and have a bunch of things that don't get used. Everything gets used, everything gets worn more than a million times so it's not that we don't take care of our things it's our things don't last because things are made cheaper cheap nowadays 
and we actually use our sh like I've had this sweater for three or four years now and it's still in like mint condition so yeah just got my makeup on it though okay so we're gonna go in and drink some coffee I hope they lotion up my hands my hands are so dry from washing dishes but this is the before jagged nails broken and weak and just destroyed and yeah let's show you Lorena's I mean Bria's nails see your nails before before jagged nails long nails she's probably gonna cut them paint them you gotta pick a color when we get in okay and we will show you after when we get out right I just need my coffee and that tablet, which I'll grab on the other side. Where did I put my keys? Right. Our channel! Welcome back to our channel! Our channel! Our channel! Thumbs up! Give us two thumbs up! Don't forget to subscribe! Our channel! Channel! Okay, so we saw before. Our channel! They look so good, Bree. Don't chip them off. Hold on, show them flat. Can you do it like that? Oh, put your hands straight. <gasps> Beautiful. Mm -hmm. They look so good. We can do yours later? No. Later. What did you get? See, we got some exciting things. Oh. Where's your baby? Um, Mama, how about we open the box? You got the cutest flip flops. We'll have to show them when we get home. Do you want your baby? Yeah. Your baby that looks like a boy? <laughs> okay, that's for her. Let her play with it. Here are my nails. I think this is my um, baby. So pretty. Love them. Yeah, hold on. No, no, no. We got this princess pop-up theme. We'll show you guys later. Okay. All right, sit down. We're gonna go to one more store. Sit, sit. All right, stop hitting each other. Let's go. I gotta go to Office Max to get an Ethernet cable. <laughs> but this is a cute little mall. It's got Big Lots. It's got sushi. It's got a pet club, an Office Max. Um, there's just. It's got a discount cigarettes place, a beauty salon, a nail place. That's where we got our nails done. That's where we were. Big lots. Look at the sky. It's so pretty. Um, now we're just going to go to Office Max. There's a big five sporting goods. Metro PCS. And there's a Dollar Tree over there. And then more. More. Something more. Jackson Hewitt, there's a tattoo shop that I am thinking about getting a tattoo. Or maybe Henna. I'm thinking about getting Henna. Um, once I get a job and get these girls in the daycare. What? What? Oh, puppy. Oh, puppy. Okay, sit down, please. Sit down. Okay, let's get in the what did you think of your first nail salon experience? It's good. Is it good? Yeah. Oh, I gotta lock the door. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, you guys aren't gonna be able to see, yeah. but the sunset is yeah. just so pretty. Yeah. I love, yeah. I love the yeah. sunset. So you, yeah. I know, baby. You gotta hold on. You just look straight up. Look yeah. straight up at the sky. Yeah. Okay, so everything is kind of a mess right now. I am making the windshield wipers go off and it's not raining. Um, but yeah, basically I just have to show you guys what we bought. It's literally 6.27 and all we've done is get our nails done. We got our nails done, we went to Big Lots and that's it. Oh, and then we went to get my medicine at the store. That's a cool license plate. 
Um, so we haven't had dinner. He's in my nails. We haven't had dinner yet. Um, all we did was go to Big Lots and yeah, that's it. And get our nails done and then the day's gone, which is crazy to me. What? No, I'm just going in and out. I was going to go to Walmart and grocery shop, but I think I'm just going to go in Walgreens and take out um, the rest of my money so it doesn't get taken from bills, I guess. I don't like... I don't understand. Wait till you see what I bought at Big Lots and then what we got our nails done and somehow my money's gone. Like, her nails were $5. Mine was like 30 So it came... And then with a tip, it came to like $44. And literally getting like nothing at Big Lots, like nothing. I literally got them a couple of toys. Oh, and then we went to Office Max, sorry I forgot about that, to get an Ethernet cable so that maybe I could upload videos faster. So I am a little bit stressed about life in general, like, um, but literally guys, I'm like shaking. Um, I'm just tired of this, like, and I'm tired of like forcing myself to not cry. Like I'm just holding it all in for my babies and being strong and like it's just getting to a point where like I'm getting flashbacks of things and like the difference between like flashbacks and memories is like my body feels like that flashback like I'm shaking right now and my eyes want to water but I'm not allowing them to water like I'm telling myself no you're not going to cry right now so like that's yeah, my arm was a little shaky. Um, and then I make excuses for that. Like, oh, I'm hungry. I've just had a lot of coffee. Like, I haven't had a lot of coffee. And I'm not that hungry. So, like, I'm just tired of making excuses and just, like, putting, like, the wool over my face and just ignoring it all. Like, I'm really sick and tired of it. I'm sick of it. But I'm just, I'm really happy we had a good day and I'm happy with what we got at Big Lots and we got our nails done and Bria's nails look so good. Let me see again. Oh, and everybody was saying how cute you and sister were. Yeah. You and sister are so cute. So cute. Okay, let me just run inside. Mama, I know what we can do tomorrow. What? Let's go to a walk tomorrow. Let's go for a walk. Well, that doesn't cost money to go for a walk. Like, I can't even have a gym membership. I can't even buy myself clothes. These clothes are old. And that's why it's frustrating when I watch these mommy vloggers because they just have so much money already. Like, it's almost like to be a famous, like, mommy vlogger on YouTube, you have to already be rich. Literally. You have to already be loaded in order for anybody to even look your way and give you two minutes of their time. Not even two minutes, like five seconds of their time. You have to be rich. You have to be perfect. You have to be pretty. You have to be spotless. Your kids have to like be perfect somehow. And it's just like, oh my god. And then, and then they're just trying to sell you something every day. Like, oh look at my new shirt. Oh look at my new belt. Wanna see my underwear? Oh, here's a link for my underwear. Like, no. I cannot live that way. And I don't know how they have followers or supporters that can live that way either. Like, I don't want to see an ad every time I watch you. I don't, like, I'm sick of commercials and I see it all day. Walking ads all day. Like, I don't want to see that anymore. Like, if I go on Instagram and watch my favorite mommy vlogger, it's because I want to relate and feel like, oh my god, I'm going through that too. Oh my god, it's so frustrating when you're alone and you're juggling two kids and nobody understands and nobody cares. And and yet you just keep it going strong and not giving, doing what you got to do. Like, I deserve to get my nails done today. And Bria did too. That was the first time she's ever got her nails done. And guess what? I'm going to be made to a fool of. I'm going to be told... You're a bad person for getting your nails done. I can't believe you got your nails done. Like, you're talking about you need money for this and you need money for that, but you went and got your nails done. Like, do not guilt trip me for getting my nails done the one time in three or four years. Like, I am a woman, and that is, like, a necessity. That is one necessity that you cannot just, like, take from a woman. Like, women need their hair done. Women wear makeup. Women wear earrings. Women get their nails and toes done. Like, I wanted to get my toes done today. I need a foot massage. I need all that dead skin scraped off. I need to go to the dentist. Like, I just need things. I need shoes. I need clothes, too. I need hats. I need a new jacket. I need things. 
I just, I'm, I'm just, my head spinning because I'm trying to look for solutions to this and the only solution is to go to school but you need money to go to school. And then the only solution is, well, work and go to school. And then it's like, well, I could work but then I'll be away from my kids. I'm going to miss my kids and I'm barely going to know my kids because they're going to be gone all day while I'm at work. And then I'm probably going to make a smidge of enough money that makes it worth it but not really worth it. Like... This is what I want to hear the other moms talking about. Debating about going back to work. Talking about how their husbands don't buy everything for them. Like, it's like, yes, honey, go get your eyelashes done every week or two. Yes, honey, go get your hair done every month. Yes, honey, go get your nails and toes done every three weeks. Yes, honey, here's money to go shopping at Target every day. Like, I don't have that, and I don't know if I ever will. I hope I will someday. But that's not even what matters to me. Like, what I care about is spending time with my kids. So what blows my mind even more about mommy vloggers is when they ship them off with assistance. Like, you might as well... I, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, if I don't have to send my kids off, I don't want to. I don't... I won't. Um... I don't know. Like, the other day, I was sitting at McDonald's, watching them play at the play place. I got a coffee. I sat down. I edited. A.K. worked. Um, and that's it. Like, looks beeping. Um, that's it. They had a blast. They had so much fun. And I got some things done. Not, I'm still not done with it. Um, three days later, I'm still not done doing that. But it's getting there. But seriously, we're starving. And I gotta go in, um... I know I'm sorry for this rant. I'm sorry if I offended anybody. I'm sorry if you're misunderstanding me. I am literally mis misunderstood. Um, and that's probably why I don't have any friends. And that's probably why my family and I bump heads. But I'm sorry. I'm, I'm Maybe it's not coming out the right way or like the way I mean it. I know I mean it from a good place, not a bad place. So if it sounds like a bad place is where I'm coming from, it's not at all. I'm coming from a good place. I'm just stating the obvious. I'm just stating how I feel. I'm in this moment right now where it just feels so overwhelming and just so fake and phony. And I want the realness. And that's why I'm bringing you realness right now because this is as real as it gets. And... I know there's people out there that are in my shoes and can't get their nails done or they're starting from the bottom. Maybe you just got out of an addiction like I did a couple years ago and it's hard putting your life back together and then figuring it out and then like stop getting a divorce and having kids in mid-divorce. Like, But I am damn sure happy that um, it happened because it changed my whole life and I should have just been a mom when I was 18 years old because I would be... A very successful person right now and it would have woke me up quick but being selfish and living the selfish lifestyle not having to worry about anybody else especially a kid um, was more important to me than having kids but now it's like wow this is amazing having kids it's just real hard too I'm just ooh, ooh, ooh. they're sleeping so we're fine <laughs> I mean that's it that's the truth Alright, I gotta get the hell out of this damn car and go get some food. Oh.